The most feared astronomical event in history is about to take place, and it will change the world as we know it today. NASA just came out with the chilling announcement about the imminent explosion on the brightest star in our night sky, the Betelgeuse. It's mankind's only chance to see this once-in-a-lifetime phenomena with our own eyes. Betelgeuse is the nearest red supergiant star to Earth. Someday it'll explode as a supernova, but when? Just a few years ago, in late 2019, Betelgeuse sparked excitement around the world when it began dimming noticeably. The strange dimming of Betelgeuse caused some to believe the big event was close at hand, but Betelgeuse hasn't exploded yet. This highly noticeable star in the constellation Orion has since regained brightness, dimmed again, and brightened again, apparently now returning to a less active state. Are we about to witness the explosion of one of the most well-known stars in the universe? Bear with us as we are about to uncover every single detail about this giant superstar turning into a supernova. Have you seen another star exploding? Drop it down in the comments which star exploded, and maybe you'll be interviewed for our next video. Where does the Betelgeuse originate from? The names of many bright stars are Arabic in origin. This fact reflects the dominance of Arabic astronomers and astrologers during Europe's Dark Ages. The name Betelgeuse is derived from an Arabic phrase that is usually translated as the armpit of the giant. Of course, the giant refers to Orion, but rather than an armpit, some authors see Betelgeuse as representing a hand or sometimes a shoulder. While it is not entirely clear what the name means, Betelgeuse marks the right shoulder of Orion in many old star maps. Betelgeuse, the red supergiant, is one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye. It is the tenth brightest star in the night sky and, after Rigel, the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. It is a distinctively reddish, semi-irregular, variable star. Betelgeuse has the widest range displayed by any first magnitude star. But how does a phenomenon like this ever form into what it is? A newborn star consists mainly of hydrogen, which combines at the core of the star with the aid of gravity to produce helium in a nuclear explosion. This nuclear fusion process generates a huge amount of heat and light energy. As it approaches the star's surface, the energy releases a photon into space. The star's principal fuel, hydrogen, runs out as it ages and helium starts reacting with carbon. Neon would ultimately react with carbon to make iron when its helium has been depleted. When this occurs, energy is not released when neon and iron fuse together. When iron begins to fuse, the star collapses in on itself, causing a supernova explosion as there is nothing that can oppose the star's incredibly high gravity. One of the most powerful explosions, the supernova, can generate enough energy to illuminate approximately 10 billion suns. Based on their location in the stellar evolution, the coloration of stars can change. From the youngest, hottest blue forms to the older, cooler red types, even though they are just 10 million years old, large stars typically burn up their hydrogen faster and go out of existence sooner. Is the Betelgeuse comparable to something more familiar to us? To explain the magnitude of Betelgeuse better, if it were at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Nevertheless, there are several, even larger stars in the Milky Way. Calculations of Betelgeuse's mass range from slightly under 10 to a little over 20 times that of the Sun. For various reasons, its distance has been quite difficult to measure. Current best estimates are on the order of 500 to 600 light-years from the Sun, a comparatively wide uncertainty for a relatively nearby star. Betelgeuse has evolved rapidly because of its large mass and is expected to end its evolution with a supernova explosion. This is predicted to happen within 100,000 years. In 1920, Betelgeuse became the first extrasolar star whose photosphere's angular size was measured. Did the Betelgeuse ever have to fear its existence before? Starting in October of 2019, Betelgeuse began to dim noticeably, and by mid-February of 2020, its brightness had dimmed significantly. 
But by the 22nd of February 2020, Beetlejuice stopped dimming and started to brighten again. And as reported on the 25th of February of 2022, it has remained in a more normal brightness range. Infrared observations found no significant change in brightness over the last 50 years, suggesting that the dimming was due to a change in large grain circumstellar dust rather than a change in the luminosity of the star. A 2022 study using the Hubble Space Telescope suggests that occluding dust was created by a surface mass ejection. This surface mass ejection cast material millions of miles from the star that then cooled to form the dust that caused the star's dimming. Without a doubt, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. In contrast, the Sun is approximately 5 billion years old and is still in its prime, so a supernova may happen someday since Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its existence. Betelgeuse has two dimming and brightening cycles. The second dimming lasts around 100 days and occurs every five years. The outer shell of the star is thought to expand and contract, changing the star's diameter and average temperature as it moves through the cycle. Since the 1st century BC, Betelgeuse has been the focus of significant inquiry. Why did it fade? Betelgeuse has been traveling through the interstellar medium at a speed of 300 kilometers per second. This accelerating star produces a shock that is more than four light years wide. What is it that NASA recently discovered about the Betelgeuse? The massive red supergiant star Betelgeuse is at the end of its lifespan, at least on cosmic timescales. But the gargantuan fireball is going out kicking and screaming. Astronomers use NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories to determine that the senior star blew off part of its surface in 2019. Scientists have admitted that they have never seen such huge mass ejections happen on the surface of a star before. They claim we are experiencing a new phenomenon that can be observed directly with the Hubble Space Telescope. The observation of the star Betelgeuse has shown characteristics of stellar evolution events. The swollen late-stage star has an astonishing diameter of about a billion miles, which means if you replaced our Sun with Betelgeuse, the star would extend out to Jupiter's orbit. Stars of its type tend to live fast and die relatively young, whereas our star is middle-aged at about 5 billion years. Betelgeuse is 10 million years old and could go out in a supernova explosion sometime in the next 100,000 years. The researchers refer to the 2019 event as a surface mass ejection, or SME, which is somewhat similar to the coronal mass ejections we see erupt from our own sun's outer atmosphere often causing bright auroras and radio disruptions on Earth. However, the eruption from Betelgeuse ejected about 400 billion times as much mass as an average CME. Blowing off a hunk of its top created a dust cloud around the star, which was also left with a large cool spot on its surface. As a result, Betelgeuse dimmed significantly, enough that even amateur astronomers could notice the change. For months in 2019 and 2020, there was speculation that the dimming might be the precursor to the star-going supernova. It's now clear that the dimming was evidence of a smaller explosion that had already occurred, and scientists cautioned that while dramatic, shooting a chunk of itself into space doesn't mean the end of Betelgeuse is nigh. The star is slowly recovering from the blast. Betelgeuse continues doing some very unusual things right now, the interior is very unstable. Whenever Betelgeuse finally does blow itself completely to pieces, it'll be visible from Earth even in the daytime sky. What does the extinction of Betelgeuse actually mean for us? Since its fading has fully ceased, the dying star Betelgeuse is going to explode one day. It is one of the brightest stars to be discovered in the universe, even brighter than our Sun. But that brightness comes at a cost. The hydrogen which fuels Betelgeuse is used faster and faster as the star continues to age. The star will eventually explode and life on Earth will be able to witness this explosion. At what time will the supernova occur? No one can tell. Although scientists have estimated that the star has less than 100,000 years worth of hydrogen fuel. Will the Earth be affected by the Betelgeuse supernova? No, the star is too far away to negatively affect life on Earth. We have come to the end of this video. If you like our content and would like to see more videos like this, 
Please like and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out more of our videos.